All right, how you doing? Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Uh, we got going on today is we're going to do a review, an unboxing, review, and install of Shred Moto. Um, they're calling them their foot peg relocation mount or something like that. Basically, what these are is a mount that lifts up the foot pegs higher. Because what I currently have going on here, take you over here. So, the stock setup on my Dyna was scraping entirely too early. You can't move the camera around here. So I ended up getting some Joker machine foot pegs. Uh, these were actually for a Sportster, but I figured out, like, oh, we can take them out there and we can kind of put them on a little crooked like that. It gives me a little extra clearance. The problem is, I can move it up. You can see, whoop, right there, it doesn't give me that much clearance. And I still got like a half inch wide, probably three quarter inch wide chicken strip on the back, on my back tire. So that is unacceptable. Plus, with these mounts, I actually move my foot peg a little too close to the shifter, so shifting's a little weird because of this gap right here. So, somewhere on Dunholic's Facebook page, somebody brought up Shred, Mo Shred Moto Co. So, I've got the box here. They sent it to me. I did already open this, but, you know, whatever. So, here's the unboxing. So, sh 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 cup of tape. In here, we got the invoice, obviously. Stickers. Look at this. Yay actual different color and shiny stickers because frankly if I spend a decent amount of stuff on shit I want stickers uh, now just to also clear uh, they did not give me a discount I paid full retail price for this I'm not paying anybody lip service uh, though if they want to send me a refund I'd be okay with it but um, yeah so at this point this review this is an honest review uh, I'm not I don't pay anybody lip service anyways but you know so here we have the uh, the mount this is a pretty slick setup um, I guess this is aluminum and uh, looks nice CNC milled there. I don't know if you can see there or not, but oh yeah, look at that finish. So, really nice stuff. So it's supposed to relocate, I think, up uh, an inch or so, maybe inch and three quarters, something like that, and then back quarter of an inch, something like that, maybe half inch. I don't remember. You have to look on their website. But yeah, and they also send me nice new shiny hardware. Woo! Twelve point fasteners. We're gonna look fancy. Those fasteners are good for five horsepower. Yes. All right. So that's all it's in here, I think. Yes. That's all it's in here. Nice little foam thing. So that's all I got. Uh, let's do the install. All right. Pretty straightforward. To remove these off here. The stock setup. It's a three-eighths bolt, which means it's got some nine-sixteenths wrenches. Got a ratcheting wrench. A standard one here, so and it won't fit on there. So put the ratcher up top. Hold it in place down here. Try the open end. And lefty loosey up sucker right on out of there. Now there is a little tensioning spacer that's in here. You'll see as I take this out. I'll take the bolt out. I don't want to lose this. Bing! There's this little tensioning spacer here. So uh, this is just kind of angled in here, so it holds a little tension on the foot pegs. So they don't sit there and vibrate around. And it takes up the extra little slot. So yeah, and we got a new one here. Oh man, that looks nice. Is that mine? Yes. So mounts right in there. I gotta admit, I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't tilt. Um, thought there was going to be a little bit of a bevel on here, that way it'll tilt up for a little more clearance, or if you drop it, um, I'm a little disappointed by that. But, we'll take our new hardware here. Take our new hardware, slide that starting down in there, like so. I'm going to take our little specialty washer here. Actually, I think we're going to slide that in first. Huh. Well, I'm going to guess these are made to not reuse the washer. So, we're going to put it on there like so. Thread that down in there. Go get the right 12 point wrench. Alright, so got the right wrench. It's a 7 16 12 point. 
it should just slide right down there but it's apparently a pretty tight machine fit so there it goes almost all the way there we're going to take that and we'll thread the nut down there on the bottom and we'll take not that wrench another ratcheting 12 point which doesn't clear so we're going to take a uh, box end 12 point slide on there and use the wrench up top I'll run us all the way down there and we'll take this and torque them down to manufacturer specs I forgot to put the washer on there oh, shit so break it free take the nut back off take the washer they sent with the thing throw the washer up on there and tighten it right back on down right to manufacturer specs and there you go all right so instead of the joker machine pegs what we're gonna do is i got these uh they're actually bmx pegs uh i thought i ride bmx so i thought it looked fucking cool to put these things on there so drop the bolt through the center of them 5 16 18 sticking out about the appropriate amount i'm gonna thread that sucker right on in there Do, 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 do. Boom, tighten down. There you have it. So, bring it around this side here. Uh, pretty radical looking. I'm gonna get that. I do like the distance, the appropriate distance here and here. Um, so it's back to where it was. So hopefully, my boot will fit under there a little more properly. Um, if I have to adjust it. Do it up there on the shifter linkage. Uh, yep. So, there's slop there. So, uh, as far as, like I said, these were Shred Motoco. Uh, come on, there, there we go. Um, overall, it seems like a pretty well made product. The fact I can't get the shim in there. Um, I can't get the shim in there, there's just too much mass. I even mic'd it out off camera. And just the thickness of the shim isn't going to happen in between that gap there. Uh, let alone the the angled bevelness of it that is the spring washer. So you can't see that there. Yeah. Um, so that's not really a great mark for him, but other than that, it seems like a pretty solid, well made product. Uh, I am a little disappointed they also don't tilt up, so if I drop it, that means the foot peg, if I drop the bike, that means the foot peg load. Um, the low of the bike goes around the foot peg, I and mean, it's probably going to shear it off. I mean, I do have a crash bar up here, um, but still, uh, that I feel like that could be better. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. Other than that, so I don't know, four out of five stars, I guess. Uh, the the non tilting thing is pretty disappointing to me. So maybe three and a half stars. Um, but the other than that, they seem to make a really nice product. Um, yeah. So. Uh, I'll take it out in the parking lot or take it down to Southern Ohio pretty soon and hopefully uh, we'll thread some curves and see what drags first on this bike. In the meantime, it's all I got.